and we're going to go to the next uh, component here. Um, and I, uh, thank you, thank you. I have a I have a troubling propensity to simultaneously stop recording and sharing my screen at the same time for reasons uh, of, of un unclear psychological significance. Um, so uh, here we go. Um, okay, so I posted some slides, ladies and gentlemen, and you're welcome to, to grab them if, if you'd like to. But I'm not gonna be, th these slides actually relate to a video I asked you to watch some lectures ago. But I'm actually going to go zero in on one particular part of this that's of direct relevance to what we've been talking about. So, ladies and gentlemen, this model is that we, with which we have been working is chock a block full of these uh, uh, these transitions of various sorts. So far, they are all rate transitions, but I'll have it known that. Um, there are several other types of transitions in any logic. And in fact, in some of the, I don't know why there's this, this kind of weird thing there. Okay. Um, uh, there's timeout transitions, conditional message and arrival, agent arrival. What other, which of these have we seen before? We see message, but that's an asynchronous one. That's one I'm, I'm a receipt. Some indication like I've been exposed to to, to a pathogen, right? Um, be like I'm walking down this aisle without my mask and oh, like I've been exposed to a pathogen and I got to figure out if I'm infected, right? Um, uh, but did, did you see timeout before? Yeah. Okay, where did you see that? Uh, then we're Let's go. to actually uh, find out that production. Okay, that, that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you saw that because it's one of the foci of my coming comments here in the remaining uh, 25 minutes or so. Okay, so um, I want to talk about these transitions because I want to make sure we're rock solid on some of the associated probabilities and, and math. Some of which are, are, are sort of writ large. Uh, so when we have a transition like this one, that's a rate transition. This is what we have in the model right now. Remember, by default, it was 0.1. Remember that? Nope. Um, so uh, when we have a transition like this, we're going to call this rate as a shorthand for this discussion of health. Okay? I use the um, Which a, a Greek letter of significance, which gave rise to the very name of our alphabet. Um, okay, um, so when we have a transition of that sort, in fact, when we have any transition, we can speak about three probabilistic characterizations that are great success. Wow, that was a lot of words in one sentence, a lot of high pollutant words, but that basically. It's important to be able to understand this in through three of its different stages from three different facts. Right? See it from, from three different angles. So the first of them that I want to talk about is this idea that if we have a transition like this, we could talk about. So imagine this: you have a an, a, a transition out, okay, from this. You could talk about what's the probability that after a certain amount of time you come into this never smoker state, that you will remain in that never smoker state till that time. So we could ask, you know, after um, after a year, what's the chance they remain a never smoker? We could ask after two years, what's the probability they remain a never smoker? After 10 years, what's the probability they remain a never smoker, right? If we had a person, and they're governed by this chance per unit time of leaving, say 0.1, 10% per year. We could recently ask after two years or after five years or after 10 years, what's their probability of still being in a verse mode, right? That's a meaningful question, right? And if we were interested in that, we could look and we could plot out, like, we ran the model, you know, what, what fraction of them remain never smokers, right? We could, we could plot it out with, Try to estimate it by by sort of um, computational means by 
by looking at this and we could go up here and we could say, oh yeah, 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 yeah you know, um, the fraction that remain never smokers is coming down here from, it's, it's down to about 0.6 after five years, right? So those are meaningful statements. What's the probability you remain a ever smoker after a certain amount of time? And that's what I plotted out here for different values of alpha. Different chances per unit time of going down here. If you have a chance per unit time of 0.1, that's the default, right? Your chance of remaining in an ever smoker state after, whoa, 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 after 20 years, is something like 10%. You see that? Maybe it's maybe it's closer to 15%, but it's 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 right about right about here, right? Um uh after 10 years, well, I'm just plotting up. This is time on the x-axis, and this is the probability of remaining in the for that long in the state. And I'm looking at this this kind of what color is that? Who who knows names for color as well? Yellow. Is that yellow? Yellowish brown? Yellow black. Dark mustard, mustard. Okay, okay, mustard. Uh, <laughs> Gray Poupon comes back again. Okay, so after 10 years, you have like a 35% chance of remaining as revealed by Colonel Mustard, right? Um, um, uh, so, so this is like after 10 years, you remain like 35% chance of remaining, right? Um, after 40 years, what's your chance of remaining never smoker here? It's, it's very, very small, right? It, it might be like 2% two, two way down with that. And after 40 years, up to 60, it's almost, almost zero, right? But if that chance per unit time of leaving here was, was just, if it were 5% per year, where did we hear that before? That was for the, when did we lower it from 0.1 to 0.05? Maybe our friends in the initiation period. The initiation rate for our intervention, we lower it from 0.1 to 0.05, right? Your probability of remaining a never smoker after 40 years is much higher, right? Instead of like 2%, it's now like, I don't know, it's like, uh, 15% or something, but it's still going down with this same heinous sort of curve, right? It, it goes, down, goes down really quickly at first um, and, and then, you know, slow. The probability of remaining in that state, right? Um, or at time. So that's just one relationship I want you to, to understand. Let me ask this. Um, what do you think this one at the top, which doesn't go down at all? What what sort of alpha would lead it? What sort of chance per unit time would mean, no matter how far out you look, you're still certain to be a mistake? Zero, right? That's what the one is at the very top here, right? By contrast, a value of one would be like this, right? Like within one year, um, on average, you leave, right? Um, uh, and and so um, you could have two, it'll be even smaller. Um, it'll come down even, even quicker. Now, mind you, a rate of 0.1, chance per, per unit time of 0.1 of leaving, a 10% chance per year of leaving. How long on average is it until you leave? I've asked this question many times, and I'm hoping you're familiar with it. Your the length, the mean time until you leave. If you have a 10% chance per, per year of leaving, a 0.1 chance per unit time of leaving, your average time until you leave is 10 years, one over 0 0.1. Remember that? So, so that would be Colonel Mustard, right? Um we we look for, for Colonel Mustard, and it's like um after 10 years, uh it, there's something like 33% of people remain or something like that. Um, but it's it's actually it's actually one over E remains, right? Because because at at time at time time t equal one over alpha, e to the minus alpha t equals what? 
e to the minus alpha times what? One over alpha, right? I'm just plugging in for this, plug in to this, right? Which is e to the minus what? One, which is one over e, right? That's that's what that's what it is after ten years. Uh, so this is an average of ten years, the mustard colored one. Then the green one is is an average of twenty years, right? Um, and for the, the red one down here, it's an average of how long completely? The point two is an average time of how long? Five years. So five years would be this red one. Okay. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, um, after time one over E, or one over alpha rather, one over E of the, of the of, you know, probably one over E of, of remaining. But the point is, this is what this curve looks like. What's the probability you remain in that state? And I hope it's intuitive that if you have no chance for unit time of going, if alpha is zero, then you are certain to remain in that state, no matter how far you look out, right? That's what that is, right? E to the minus zero, e to the zero, right? And e to the zero is what? One. Matter. Yes, exactly. Um, okay. Um, okay, so that's one face I want you to recognize up there. This is what's my probability of remaining in the state after this month? Okay. And I hope this gives you some sense. When I said it was a tough road to home with this initiation, you know, he lowered it to point one. For a prevention effort, we, we hope to make a big difference by learning 0.05, but you see the heinous mathematics of it. We've moved it from the mustard colored curve to the to the green colored curve, but it's still really hard after 40 years, 60 years, right? Um, we'll return to that point, but yes, uh hard one. Well, I mean, 0 0.05 is how long on average did you leave? Was 0 0.05? How long on average did you leave? If you have a chance per year, 5% to leave, how long do you leave on average? 20 years, 1 over 0 0.05, right? Um, alpha 0 0.01, what, how long is it on average until you leave? A hundred years. So it's five times longer. So on average you leave. So it it kind of makes sense. It's it's, it's higher. So you may say numerically point oh five very close, but but in terms of your average time to leave, it's actually a big difference, right? Particularly if the model running time is a hundred years. You know, um someone someone has uh, a mean time of a hundred years to start smoking and Chances are they may be dead before they start smoking, right? Um, okay. Um, uh, okay. So, so that was one curve. Now I want you to now think about another. And this one is actually a probability distribution. And I don't recall with certainty whether it was during office hours or during lecture. I actually made a, uh, a mistake in writing this down. It may have been during uh, during office hours, but but um, the formula for this for any one of you, if we asked what's the probability distribution associated with the time at which you leave this state, if we want to ask what's the probability of leaving at this time, at that time, it's actually a probability density, a chance per unit time um, of leaving at this time or that time. That's a this form, alpha times e to the minus alpha. Okay. Um, uh, this is the probability that you leave, I, 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 actually, it's probably density that you leave at time t. Um, and you're much more likely to leave earlier than you are later, mostly because. You probably already left by a later time, right? Um, it's early on that we're probably still in the state. So 
our chance of if, if we consider when we leave, the chance of much higher that we'll we'll do that early rather than we'll do that very late because it's unlikely we'll around to do it to do it late. Um, so this is the unconditional chance of leaving at time t. Okay. Um, and if if I have uh, Mr. Green, uh, Mr. Mr. Mustard, that's this one here. Notice that this plot is just between zero and point two. But these are probability distributions. When I say it's a probability distribution, I mean that it will sum up or integrate up to what value. If I integrate this over all t, if I sum it up over all values of t from zero onwards, it will total up to what? It's a probability distribution that will total up to one, one, one. This will integrate to one. You've got to leave it some time. And this tells you what's your probability of leaving at time 20 or time 40 or time 60. And so this is saying, gosh, you're, you're a never smoker at the beginning. Your chance that you leave, that you start smoking at 40 years old is, is or, you know, I, Time uh, 40 is that transfer for unit time of, of, of price to smoke there is very, very small. Hopefully, you could probably start to smoke by then. You know, chance that you'll start to smoke at 60 is very, very small as well, too. Probably already started to smoke by then. This, this could be a little bit hard to get your, your mind around, but I, I want to come back to this after the next one, which I think will be more intuitive. So let me ask this. I told you at the start of, of this little component that your chance of leaving for unit time is alpha. No matter how long you've remained here, your chance of unit of leaving for unit time is alpha. So I'm going to ask you a question. And it's not a trick question. I want you to answer it. It's actually a very straightforward question. If I tell you your chance of leaving per year is alpha. Probability alpha per year of leaving. And I said, what? Okay, so you've been here now five years in a number of smoker thing. What's your probability of leaving per year now? What is it? Alpha. It's alpha. I told you it's alpha. If if you're still here at 10 years old, how how um, what's that chance per year of leaving? Alpha. If I told you you're you're 20 years old still, you're still a never smoker 20 years old. What's your chance of leaving uh, per year of leaving? Alpha. It's always the same. This is what we call a memoryless exception. And that word actually occurs in the assignment. It says there's a memoryless, a memoryless contact process. What that just means is it's a fixed value. It's a certain chance per unit time of time. You have a certain chance per day of like coughing and spreading infection or something. I don't want to get in folks to that. Um, okay. So, so ladies and gentlemen, um, what I want to talk to you about is no matter how long you've remained in this state, it's memoryless. It doesn't care if you have just come into it or if you've been there for 50 years already. If this is a fixed rate, that rate applies for your chance of leaving in the next year. If, if, if it's 0.05, this value is 0.05, no matter if you're if you've been here, you're a newborn baby. You have a that's a scary thought. You have a hundred percent chance of starting to smoke in the next year. If you are a if you are a, the most senior of a professor like myself, um, your, your chance of leaving in the next uh, the next year is also um, five percent. Okay, this is memory less. So, um. If if you find me asking this on the final exam, um, just remember it's 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 
Because memory is like, it, it doesn't matter how long you've been there, you have that same chance. A rate transition with a fixed rate. If you haven't left already, you have that same chance to flee. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe that's worth reminding if we go back to this. These curves all look the same. No matter how far out you look, if, if you were to say, well, if I'm in the state now, still in the state now, um, what's my chance that I'll be in it a year from now or two years from now? It's it's always governed by the same same outcome. It's the same chance per year of leaving. It's the same shape no matter how far out you go. And and it's this sh shape of, of going down fast early and slow later. You can see it there. Do you, do you understand that? Okay. So this results from having this same chance. If I haven't left, what's my chance of leaving in the next year? The same fixed chance. Now you'll notice that this by contrast, this one that shows a probability distribution, this is it's not asking if I'm there, what's my chance of leaving after a certain time of saying, um, just what's my chance that I leave at 20 years or 40 years or 60 years from this date? And that could be small, even though you, if you have remained there for 60 years, you have only that alpha chance of, of leaving in the next year. It's extremely small because you're unlikely to still be there at that, at that time. So a little bit, this is an unconditional chance of leaving at that time. It's low in large part because you're unlikely to still be there, still be around for that. But if you are still around in that state, it's this fixed rate that applies. Does that make sense? Okay, this is an important thing. You have that same chance per unit time of leaving. This is memory list. No matter how long you've been in the state, you have that same chance of leaving. Okay, so when you see that rate transition, no matter if, if it's a fixed rate, you know, no matter how long I've been here, it's that same chance. This is memory. Could you remember that? Can you remember the right one for the Gipper? Try to remember it. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, now I want to contrast this with the timeout transition. This will also. So we one more chance, ladies and gentlemen, to win one. For the Gipper, okay. Um, and for timeout transitions, let's go look at those three phases. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, here we're going to look at once again at what's your probability. Remember, before we have the first thing we looked at is what's your probability of remaining still being in that state after a certain amount of time. Remember, we saw that before. For for, for this sort of transition, remember we saw it before, it looked like this. Everyone at the start is definitely there. And then the chance that they remain goes down after that, right? Because each year they have a certain chance of leaving, right? Remember that? Okay, now let's look at it for a timeout. It looks like this. You say, what, what, what's going on here? And right, so, so if, if, you, if this is a timeout of 20 years, I say it remains, your chance of remaining after you come into the state, your chance of still being in the state after five years is what? What? Because it's a time out of 20 years that hasn't gone off yet, right? Your chance of still being in the state after 10 years is what? One, because it hasn't been 20 years yet, right? Chance of remaining in the state after 15 years is what? You Chance you're still there is one because it hasn't yet been 20 years. It's not a trick question. A... Now, your chance of remaining in the state after nine of 19.75 years is what? One. Your chance of remaining in the state after 21 years is what? Zero. You definitely have left. So it goes from one, 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 to zero. zero. Your chance to remain of, of still being in the state. Do you understand that? So if you have a, oh my gosh, where, where'd my nice plot of it go? I had a, oh my gosh, I had a nice, a nice plot. Okay, well, 
you, you, you could just imagine a timeout transition coming out of a, sorry? So, sorry, say that again? Yeah, well, it, no, but I had a nice plot of, of what a timeout transition looks like in any logic. Now, here, here's, this is, so this gets a little bit more subtle. Anyone here from engineering about that? Okay, good. Uh, there's a thing called a Dirac delta function in engineering. It's called an impulse function. It was actually invented by physicist Paul Dirac, who was also an amazing engineer. Um, and the, the mathematicians didn't like it. <laughs> they, they kind of grumbled and like, ah, a bunch of, bunch of like applied stuff. But eventually they came around and they, they came to say like, oh gosh, this is really interesting. And it opened up a whole new areas of mathematics. So it's called the direct delta function. But the basic idea is your chance of leaving, like for a time up transition, when do you leave? You leave at what time? And you leave at 20 years exactly for that time. Right? If it's a, if it's a time up transition, you leave at exactly 20 years. So your chance of leaving at time two years after entering the state is what? Zero. Your chance of leaving five years after you enter is zero. Chance of leaving at 10 years after 19.7 watt years is zero, right? Your chance that you will leave at time at exactly time 21 is zero, right? Time 25 is zero. Time 30 is zero. But at time 20, it, it's actually you are sure to leave. It's actually probability one. And this means it's infinite probability density. It means it's like compressed. So it's super tall. It's not just one. No, it's a probability density it's a per unit time. So it's not just one, it's not just 10, it's not just 100, it's not just 1,000. It's like as high as it has to be because it's infinitely small chance, a unit of time that you have to consider. And and basically, it is sure that you will leave at that time exactly, time 20. Is this memoryless? Does this care how long you've been in the state? Yes. It cares everything about how long you are going to be in the that you've been in the state, right? You will not leave in time less than 20, right? Um Tolkien said it, right? You will not pass. Um, it will not, it, you will not leave before time 20, right? It matters entirely how long you've been in the state. After 20 years, you will, you will leave. Now, you're out of here, right? Um, I wish that were the case now. <laughs> and, and you'll be out of here within one minute. I promise you. Okay. Um, and... Given that you haven't left now, the chance that you will leave in the next little bit also goes to infinity uh, at time 20. You will leave in the next little bit if you've been here for 20 years. This is memory full process. This is no matter how long we've been in the state. Oh, no, no. Oh, my God. Um, so it's a memory full process. It exactly determines whether you leave. And so, ladies and gentlemen, there's a, my nice plot, by the way, of, of a timeout. And so, the chance that you will remain in the state after a certain month, that you'll still be in the state for a timeout transition looks like this, it's one, 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 until the timeout, and then it goes to zero. And for a rate transition, if memory list it goes down, it doesn't matter how long you spend in that state, your chance of leaving the next little bit is the same thing. Time out transition, it's entirely dependent on how long you've done. Okay? Time out, these have the same mean time until you leave 20 years, but they look very different. All right? Um, this is the mean value of 20 years because it's exactly 20 years. This is the mean value of 20 years to the decreasing curve. Uh, you have some chance leaving early, some chance late. Okay? Time out transition, memory fault, time, time uh, rate transition, memory loss. I'd like to en encourage you to leave. Oh, well, you want to stay for office hours. I'm happy to, happy to have you stay for office hours. Yes.
Oh, great. Awesome. Awesome. That, that'll be fantastic. Thank you so much. I'll try to take the picture of this too. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I had to rebuild restart my model. Okay. Because we reached a conclusion. It was too hard to demonstrate something how it started. Okay. And we are using, I would say, kind of like an agile way of doing it. Good. So doing and learning. Yeah. So for the, uh, uh, there is several submissions. Can I just submit the, the model, like the version of the model that I have? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the point is you're making progress. You're, you're learning, you know, um, you're doing course correction. So absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just, just submit that. Um, so submit but, the model in a format. Yeah, precisely. That I want some sort of at least brief comments on it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Good. Yeah. You bet. Okay, questions, yes. So I, I'm almost done with my assignment. Yes. And I'm really stuck in this scenario. So like basically there's a list like a, yeah. okay. a branch and yeah. then it transitions. Yeah. So you have like a red of thing, right? That's right. Is, is this how it's going to be done? Then? Yeah, so so uh, that's correct. Um, and this would be the default, right? So yeah, this is by default. Uh, so that's correct. Yeah, yes. Default. Yeah. And this one, if you get an exporter, most that is correct. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And so here, it's yeah. Like random. That is correct. Yes. That is correct. Yes. yes. Um, in the little main. Yes. Main. Yes. This is what I have ever for. Yes. That's correct. It make it zero point zero five, but yes, uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So, but the thing is, like, it's the message is not spreading, like, you know. Like, okay, but is there an initial? Person yeah. being infected, yeah. yeah. So, initially, there's this one person that, that gets infected in the thing. So, here, yeah, this guy, which guy, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then yeah. The, the thing never spreads, okay. So, um, yeah. okay. So, so let's just see what's going on here. So, give me a moment, I'll, I'll be with you folks. Uh, so what's the rate of spreading? Uh, 12.5 a day, okay, okay, um, behind and sent random connected, yeah, uh huh, um. Okay, so what you should do here, um, first of all, do you know whether someone is um, is, is getting exposed to messages via this road? So, so I, if I were you, I'd do a trace LN to find out if, remember that that's suggested at the top of the assignment, right? Um, exposed to um, message, okay, because it, Okay, so uh, run it now, and uh, and let's see, is anything turning out saying that they're exposed to the message? Okay, um, and if so, you know at least they're getting the message. Uh, and here we go. Okay, um, I don't see any initially. Okay, it could be. Um, Okay, but I don't see any indication that, like, I don't see in the console any indication that it was sending, uh, sending this. Okay, let's put it where it sends the message. Okay, so here, um, uh, centering connected, yeah, and uh, I'd like you to. So can you put a same thing here? So the trace LN, um, because I need to get the details too, right? Um trace LN uh um okay and uh let's just run it and so the question is is it exposing people? So okay, it is exposing people, but it looks like no one's getting exposed, okay? So why is this Okay, so it says on the message exposure. What is this sending as its message? Is it sending exposure here? It is sending exposure, sending random connection. Okay. So the question is why is it? Okay, I've got one more idea for something to check. Okay, let's go to person and let's go to. Um, uh here uh okay, come on um i don't i want to say i don't i don't know okay uh and uh it's okay it is um 
Okay, to make sure you see you see do a trace cell in there. I want to see uh, are they receiving the message? Okay, do, do a trace cell and have it print out something distinctive. Uh, so uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, I like yeah. sure yeah, yeah, I mean, it's spreading a lot there. Um, okay, okay. Sometimes it may, it may burn out because it's spreading so much stuff. That does, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't see anything that looks odd there. Okay. Um, okay, so it received the message. Okay, fine. So um, change this to be um, the exposure message there. Uh, change it to be. Um, yeah, go to this one. Um, and uh, we'll be try making it. Um, I'm making it on the phone. Tell me what happened. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have any power trying to do? Is there in the week reading me? Uh, I could. I mean, if you want to meet, I just need to discuss the project. Sure. Um, so do you want to make a time? Uh, yeah, I can email you and handle it. Why don't you do that? Okay. Okay. That's great. Yeah. I have a few questions. Yeah. First of all, there's an early here. Yeah. I'm going to put it down on the I so looks like there's two errors that if you need to explore this here based on state chart and then the pandemic state chart. Okay, it's in the recovery. What's going on in the piece of that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, that's fine. But what's what's going on when it's printing something out there? Uh, yeah, it's uh. Okay, so uh, recovery, it is complaining something about this transition. It's not, um, yeah, it's, it's somehow unhappy with this particular transition. You see this? So, what you should do is um, first of all, go drag what I want you to do, and I'll be dealing with other people, but I'm going to come back to you. what I want you to do is it's recording this with two places, okay? They're recording the contact transition the recovery, right? So it's these two. Um, I want you to go and there's something about how those are being set up that doesn't look proper, so I want you to. Take uh, replace them with another, or or uh, have another one for each one. So in other words, like that, and copy all these things into that new one, okay? And see if it if it uh, fits in for that. Okay? Oh, yeah, so in other words, start with this one here, so it's a little bit easier to set up, and then make sure it it does not have an X next to it, and then copy the properties for this one by one over to there. And then uh, see if at some point it causes the problems. If there's something that's troubling it about how this is set up with that. Okay. Okay. So uh under roof. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what's the um, Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and also okay, but but so can, can we put this down here? Um uh, place it, uh, um, yeah, so by with okay. So, so this is talking about it'll connect two people, it's the distance based network. There are two people that are connected if they lie within 15 units of each other. So, if you go to Maine, or um, I don't know why this is called Houston, why is this called Houston? I've never seen it with it, not in Maine, so maybe that will cause problems, but I'm uh, not sure. Um, so, so here, um, uh, if you go down to space and networks, uh, there is a thing called network type. Yeah, it's, it's like I, I don't know why this is not called main. Like when you created it, it was called main. Yeah, I really. Um, 
I'm, I'm wondering if that screwed it up um, because uh, uh, um, yes, I, I'm afraid that that has caused the problem because what you have to do is when, when you have this as main, you should be able to set the properties here to to basically have a network like distance space. And the 15 is the is what this needs. It's called like a connection range. You plug that in. Uh, that's what a distance space is. But I'm, I'm thinking it's probably uh, messed up because of this. Now there's this other thing called connections per connections per agent. Um uh that it's it says it's it's undefined for. Why are you calling that on what would we main? Um like why are you calling connection per agent um where are you calling connection per agent I think it's the uh-huh connection okay so what's going on there um with this other model so I got those fixed um uh, I'm assuming the other errors in name and there is an error for presentation so uh, I don't know exactly what that is okay so um let me look at that in just a minute. So both those are now fixed? Yeah. Okay, okay, good. good, good, good. So let me let me go look at it. Are you just making the I, I'm just trying to figure out where it is. Like where 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 is it? Because it was telling me there's an arrow with it, but I didn't see it. There's something called average connection. Yeah. Which, 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 um oh okay. Uh oh, um okay, average connect. Oh, it's uh I see it's a it's a uh, statistic. Okay, fine. Um, uh, I don't know why it's um, so that one. So it's uh, it's it's one of those statistics, and, uh, but I don't know. Is there a thing called I thought it's like connections for agent or something like that? Um, um there, there's a there's a, a specific API one, it's called um, I, I presumably called it in the uh, so um, I'm just not remembering what my head on now. Uh, what are you doing, man? Did you uh, put it out yeah. there? Well, that's part of the problem, probably. Um, it's it's like uh, command, command, command shift, maybe or something. Um, uh, that's that's part of the problem. It's, it's uh, let me get let me find out what the name is. Okay, give, give me give me a minute here, and I'll find I'll tell you what it is. Um. So, uh, okay. So, um, uh, can you uh, can you show that to me? Like, put it up here and and show it to me. Um, uh, okay. Uh, to g give me just a second. I'm I I just need to help help him. Um, connections. Um, for yeah, it's not. It's uh. I, I think it might be like count connections or something like no 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 okay um yeah no I'm, I'm speaking speak to Abdul Bro here so um uh okay um I, I'm just going to do this uh this dot um yeah I I, I should um God. um okay uh connections you can do connections dot size or you can do um uh deliver to all disconnect from um uh it's called yeah get connections number is what it's called get get connections number with capital c capital one no no space get connections number yeah yeah for that um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Part, part of the um, okay, so build completely separately. Okay, that's that Okay, so, so, um, but the the key thing is you, you've got to get to that main to the properties of net space and networks in order to edit that um distance uh it should say distance based network and connection range you gotta enter that 15 I forgot one right so so what's going on here? 
Okay. Um, fine. 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 Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. That's the Okay. Um. So. Uh. Let's go see. Okay. So. Right. This is unconditional. Okay. So now the question is. Um. Why it isn't like? Where's the dialogue here? Could you could you close this and reopen it? Um, close it and reopen it. Uh, yes. So for the next area, explain that the double the third area. I have to. Uh -huh. Um. So uh, no, it's in the uh, yeah, it is, yeah. Um. Okay, so uh, Abdul wrote what's going on in the back. I just thought that I created it. Well, I don't know if you that. So, this first option I have for if you were to do this um, graph, there's yeah. three yeah. 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 So each, I said, I'm seven for each. That's a bunch of seven right now. Either you want it that way, or I send you uh, statistics for the population one. Yes, yeah, right. And then there are two, so you can uh, suggest you the population. But it looks like. Um, uh so so this thing uh data set title here um so uh th there's it's it's got an error somewhere with this thing. Are you sure you have a statistic called that right now? Well no, I was just like pointing things out and okay. So, I don't do so, so if, I, if I said one, for example, here with this error, this, yes, because you don't have that was the problem. So, you don't have this defined yet. Yeah. So, you need to go add that as a statistic in the uh, in, in main. That's the easiest way to do it. Okay. And so, so in other words, in, in, sorry, in uh, this, this, uh, um, this uh, collection here. Uh, person, so you need to add a statistic. Okay, okay. I can do that later, but then, um, the job even that there's uh, there are all these okay. So, um, I need to get back to every room here, but uh, let me let me just uh, take a look. Okay, so there's an error in this thing here. Okay, yeah, so what parameters? Uh, okay, so uh, and then the speed, yep, 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 yep. Okay, um, uh, wait, uh, okay, so you have this count of people with oh, wait, but this, 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 th that's why, um, this thing, get connections number is what actually he was just using a new road, but this returns a count. I mean, uh, this returns itself a count, you can't count to count. So, so this is counting. If you're looking, I'm not sure what you mean by average count. It's like you're doing a count of it. You want average, right? No, actually, it's only the In the question, it said you would add it first, but then, then afterwards, you can uh, you need to add some these statistics. Yeah. Which count um, the number of connections. Yeah, yeah. So this this is on a per person basis a count. But if you want to summarize it for the population, it must be an average over that count. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so this this account on a per person basis, right? So it, it counts on a given. I don't know why. Why does it say that people? Well, people is my. That's why. No, no, no. But this is this is within people. This is for each person. As I said, it's actually in the assignment. It says item. Yeah. That's the that's I think the main problem. Um. Uh, but but even so, because because the, the idea of the statistic is going to each person on the population and saying how do you compute the value you want to count or the value you want to take an average over. In this case, you want to take an average over because because you know, each person is a count, but then it has to be an average over that count for the entire population. So the condition um, would be. It's not a condition, it's an average over a value. Um, they're, they're, you're, you're not going to have any condition. So, so what you need to do is so, so go copy this, go, go cut it, and then you're going to make it an average. Okay, can you do it right now? Yeah, make it an average. Well, no, make, make, choose average. Then. Okay. And now it, it's it's fraction. Yeah, paste that in. Yeah. Okay. Now go build. Build. This guy. Build. No, 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 no. That one. Yeah. Build. Build. That one. This one. Yes. Yeah. I was just 
Uh, okay, fine. So, um, so this, this, no, you resolve this problem. Now, now you say, okay, so there's several other things here that are, that are going to, this one has been resolved. So I think in the infection plot, okay, there, there's something else funky going on, but I, I need to get to, to that. Okay, so what's going over here? Um, okay, good. Well, why did you call this lowercase man? Just leave it at the, as, as the normal name. What do you rename it? What was the agent um, state? I mean, I and then I renamed the name. So I thought it was just a problem. But then. Um, no, um, I would go for the model. I think it had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I put it first, and then it was still not allowed me to do it. Um, okay, scroll up here. Scroll up to this. Um, okay, so so we'll put it down here. That's really interesting. Um, okay, so this is in Maine. Yeah, okay. There's probably you don't have any agents in it right now. So so we'll make we'll make this part of this. Okay, so um new agent type, um I'm gonna say person, fine, and I'm going to uh, go there and I'm going to go to stick on the most simple thing on them. I'll put stick an oval here on. And then I'm going to go. Okay. Um, and then here. And then I'm going to go. Uh, um, let's close it. Close it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put my main fine and I'm gonna drag get into the different model. Um, so this I'm gonna call probably um, and now I go to main and I go down here. And it's just because you need a little bit of population. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. I see the sort of errors here. I, if I were you, the simple way of doing it is to recreate, but to, is to just like have that new model and then like systematically copy um, the bits of code to like, so sort of like it better. Okay. Um, and uh, like, so what's going on? So I got many of the errors. Yes. Another last one. It's not in main. It's not there. Yeah, it's not in main. It's in main. Yeah. So what's going on here? Okay. Good. 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 Um. So. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. So first of all, let's let's do build. Um. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to save this. And I want you to close it. Okay. Um. Save. So can you uh open it? And I'm going to close it and now open it again. Okay. Um, which one is it? Um, the second one. Uh, is it like on cue? Okay. Um, then I want you to build it. Okay. So you still, you still have this thing here. So what's, what's going on? There's something that is confusing it about. Uh, okay, but um, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so let's let's go to the chat. So, if I copy paste it or do it all over again, the errors go away. Yeah, uh So you're saying the errors are here. Um, uh, uh, 
these two. No. Uh, okay. So what I want you to do is uh, let me let me just talk to you this really. Uh, this is going to be. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay. So there's no problem there. So let's go figure out what what it doesn't like about it. Um, why why is this per second? Wait, yeah. model for a second. Bond, the model is a second. You don't want that. Like, like yeah, you're yeah. supposed to be conscious about setting the thing right, and set it up. But um, I doubt that's causing problems, it, but it's kind of weird. Um, I mean, it's going to cause problems like in running it um, because it's going to be really slow. Okay, so um, what, why do you so this? Get name. Why are you doing get name here? You could do get name. I, I, I don't think that's the bad thing, but normally you just these days you say name. Uh, okay. Um, so let's. Uh, okay. So is person embedded? Like, like, does this even have a set of agents? It does. It does. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so there should be a, a, a name there. You know? Okay. Um, so I don't see a problem with that unless there's some issues with the properties you set them up. Okay. Um yeah, I don't see any problem per se. Um okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to first check in person is there a name. Okay, I'll do a rule. What's what's going on over there? Okay, cool. Is it is it um, and you can do the, the distance based map. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, uh, but you have to recreate that model is that basically it. So, this guy is basically somehow not, not um, recognizing it's within name. There's some sort of issue. So, first of all, I'm, I'm going to close all these things because this is getting really confusing about what's in what model. Um, uh, uh, okay, and and Rashid, you're you're it's uh huh, uh huh, okay. Um, so this is a population of okay, so so put it there when we're there. yeah, so make it go faster so you can see how fast it's going. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay, so it, it looks like somehow this, um, 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 this is person, but it's not properly embedding. Those people in the model, okay, yes, 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 okay. Population of agents, yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Um, and it's person, yeah, but somehow you've got person not um, having a name, a reference to name. So it's like it's not embedded in name somehow. Okay, let, let me try this. Um, uh, First of all, let's, let's save this as you can do it right now. So, um, so um, we want to test. Okay. Um, I want to drag in person here to this. So um, test embedding on um, and population embedding is okay. Fine. And now it goes person. Um, and and um, yeah, see now now it basically has a reference to name. 
Um, but it, it didn't before. Um, so the reason that it seems to me that what's happening is a reflection of the fact that you have these two variables uh, being referenced from name. See this? And somehow it doesn't realize that person, it didn't realize that person was embedded in name, which suggests to me that it's, um, that there was something off when you dragged that to create the population that made, it, there's probably an error in person or something that prevented it from realizing that it was embedded in name. But then it's so not before. Now it does because I read it to create this extra test population. Um, now it does. It didn't before. It didn't have that at all before. There was no reference to main at the top. Um, and that was that was the problem. Um, so uh, I, I created this test of vetting, and that allowed it to realize, oh, I'm a main. So if I get rid of this, yeah. Um, uh, delete. Okay, what's going on there? Of the root? Um, I can't see it all. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Let me, let me. I'm going to skip over the root just a moment. Um, so let me go to person here. And uh, yeah. See, there's something screwed up about that. Um, the way that initial. Uh, that initial uh, population was set up. This first, this people population. Um, so what I want you to do, okay? Um, I want you to go back uh, to some, to, uh, well, you can go to the one. Um, and I want you to go, and I think the easiest way to do it is what I did earlier, you drag this in like this. And call this population, okay? Population, and uh, it should be population of agents, yeah. Um, and and I want you to systematically copy this over to that. I want you to systematically copy um, any other properties that you set here, which I think is basically just this statistics, right? This thing, I want you to copy it in here, okay? And I want you to tell me when you're done, okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. Remember, like, I do the, uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, if I go on and then integrate it, I'll copy it with the, uh, with the document. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for, for, for like concern? Yeah. Um, uh, well, there, there should be properties that you're, you're saying that. You should be able to set like the parameters. Is that what you're saying? No, I need to make the Yeah. Yeah, it should, it should have, no, it should say parameters. Well, I need Yeah, yeah. So, um, okay, but does main have any parameters in it? Right now, if you go look at main, I think the main is Yeah, see, that's the problem because, like, in order for, in order for the experiment, Yep. To set parameters in the model, they have to be parameters in name because parameters are are encoding a something about the thing that in which they're embedded. So, like if they're a person, it's a it's a per person basis you're making certain assumptions. Uh, if it's in name, it's for all the model you're making this assumption, which is what you want. And then the thing that creates that thing in this case. If it's in name, parameters in name, it's the experiment that yeah. sets the value. Right. You know, when I do the experiment, I have to take it from the Create one. With the legacy, with the legacy, with the legacy, with the legacy, with the parameter in the name, I'll have to take the creator of this from here. I'm not sure what you mean. Do you have any new experiments? Yeah. Right. So, like, even more expensive, like, I'm just going to ask you to put it in the parameter of the person's name. Yeah. I was happy to write this on the name to get it. Okay. Well, here, let's take the two steps. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
other population 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 right um and Uh, it says if, if it says an internal error is kind of close to any logic that we do that, that's not a good sign. Um, but um, uh, I would think just to end that to stop talking to the uh, 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 end the uh, you know, value of the end of the sign. Um, there's something really we uh, um okay but that is a, that is a um uh, a plan uh, um and by virtue of having that parameter uh i would expect that c does not bring uh is there an answer um but um that's funky so what, why is there agent an agent state within a person? Oh, so you can be a person, but then I I put the I don't think it's a person. Like that that would be like I don't even know what but like you don't want to say in in person. I know it's a person, right? It's a person. It's the off the line. But uh see like this one. Uh -huh. Like those are in person, right? Yeah, yeah. So like I used to have to be person, and then I, I knew it was wrong. So like now I think it's my second Yeah. But yeah. I think that literally it's some person, but I didn't really okay. So um I I have some uh is it there is it in the good okay yeah so the second question i had was yeah agents were not fine so when we started with thousand population yeah and when we run this um so we yeah uh, mm -hmm. okay um well we see an agent over there um so i have to do a root bro i um okay so so do you think it's just better if i can use like that's what I was going to suggest. I would suggest that. Well, I don't. I don't think you have to like restart it from scratch. But what I would suggest is like restarting the model and then copying. I mean, like you're going to be able to copy the bits of code that you use, right? And you basically know what you have to do. So it's going to be a lot easier than redoing it entirely. But I would not live with that same model. Yeah, I don't think I think you should and maybe you want to do it on the space computers. Uh if if this one's giving you trouble, but but uh if you did that, you could copy paste bits of code in and basically um probably do it in a fraction of the time to, to sort of fight what's going on with this. This I've I've never seen that source code generation issue before. Yeah. So I would I would do that now. Look, you you're obviously you show me what these issues are, and so if you want some extra days to do this, fine. Then just do it. Try to get it done by early next week. Okay. Okay. But I would do that. I would build it from scratch, and I would only copy bits of text into it, like bits of text from the from this. But um, I don't. I think we'll take you a fraction of time. You know, to do that, then it would be Okay. I'm a doctor. Yeah. You got it. You know. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. So, if you didn't get any fast order, there's only one. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, let's go see if there's only one. In. Can, you, can you get back and show me the population? Uh, uh, no, no, no. no. Show, show me while it's running. And another issue is it's only running for like 32 seconds total. Yeah, this is time in a third second. Is it, is it, you know, there's a thousand people there. There's a thousand people in the population. But where did you like more of these? Well, I mean, it's, let's let's go see what, I mean, how are the people set to be displayed here? You remember that in each line of instructions, there's description, you have to, 
when we did it in class, this has to be random uh, to lay them out randomly. That's, that's the main way we've done it together. And let's go run it now. Okay, there they are. Now, I, I, I think you're going to see they're, like, they're, spread, they're spread out there. Okay, so let's go see what's going on here. Let's go to the name. Uh, and, and, and like, why is the width set to zero? This day? I think it was zero five hundred. No, no, I'm not trying to start off. It was 500. The would have been zero. Zero would be like a line. Uh, so we don't, we don't want that. Um, there we go. So show me where you thought it was zero and 500. I mean, it's, it's, there's a type up there one more line. Oh yeah, but that's that was that was um uh that's because I suggest this um uh this is a different way of doing it. You can set their x and y locations to be known, and each of them will be drawn from this. So that's a different way of spreading them out. I, I just showed you one way. Another way to sort of display them in space is by doing in May, in, I'm sorry, in this guy here, you go and in the population, you set their X and Y location to draw from that. So uniform, this is draw to value between zero and 500. Put one, you take this, and you put it there, and you take that, and you put it there. But then well, what is their X and Y? That's the location. And so I, I showed you one way to set the location, which is in name setting it to be based on this random, this was where I said random layout. Mm -hmm. But you do, if we leave it as easy to find, the other way to do it, which it looks like the one I suggested in the assignment, is you go here and you copy that code. So go copy, well, I'm packing up, go copy this code into there, and the same code into, into the thing for Y. Unfortunately, I teach in less than an hour here, so I've got to start getting ready for that class. We've got a class exercise there. Yeah. Is it also including the uniform word? No, right? Sorry? Is it also including the uniform Oh, yeah. Word? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's drawing from a uniform distribution. And nothing for Z, right? Uh nothing for Z. Nope. 